<laughs> Take somebody like Milton. Um, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play you one of his tracks. Yeah. Take a, take a beat like this, right? Where, who do you hear on this beat? Who? Like name an artist you hear on this track. Be honest. All right. So let's just say, I'm gonna go down the list. You, Chris Brown, no. Trey Songs, Mike. Any anyone in that genre. So, look, man. Most people listen to this, and if it's not what, and if it's not anything that they think fits something, then they label it as whack or bad. It may be whatever people think it is. You know what I'm saying? But for me, I look at it as an opportunity. I listen to the track, and I understand what this track is. I understand that he's not listening to today's music. He probably doesn't have any interest to listen to today's music. And like literally, you can call Milton or any producer who makes music like this whack and just throw them out. But I can take this producer right here and guide him in a specific direction, give him certain references and give him like six months. And I guarantee you, he'll his turnaround will be a lot faster than people that are making current relevant music. It's really just a sense of direction. It's really just a sense of helping him to understand what needs to be created because we all go and sit in front of our equipment and just start pressing buttons just based off of what we think. But if we had more information or more direction on how to get opportunity, we will think about more things and more creative, creative ideas will come out because we know what to listen for and what we're doing now. I don't know, but I believe in this track I believe in the producer who made this track, and I believe that I can get him to make more relevant music. Now, I think he is... Either he is in the top 25 or like... No? He could be in the top 25, though. I it sounds like he could. I, I, think, yeah. I think if he starts to incorporate references in his creative process... It's just certain producers... Look... At the end of the day, we all do it because we love it. You know what I'm saying? We create what comes to our mind and what makes us feel good. But I think every, if not, I would say every producer, I could be wrong. We can just say most producers to be safe would love to work with someone current or relevant or even recent. They may not be current now, but someone recent. Yeah. And so... In order for you to get to that point, you have to kind of have a sense of current, relevant, or recent. But if you're still producing music that sounds like it was relevant 10 years ago, but you're submitting this to current opportunities, then you're out of touch. And I think a lot of producers are out of touch because we get to a certain point, like even like me, like I grew up listening to a certain type of music. I grew up listening to Jay Dilla. No music sounds like Jay Dilla now. But if I stop listening to Jay, if I stop listening to music when Jay Dilla stopped making music, then I would be stuck in that era. So my job as a competitive, and an active, and a current, and a successful mm -hmm. producer is, I have to evolve. Yeah. I have to evolve. 
I may not necessarily have to be a fan of the current music, but it helps to be a fan of the current music. I love today's music. I don't love, do I love it as much as I love the music I grew up to? No, but I love the music. And me loving the music helps me to understand the music. And it, it creates space for me to be inspired by today's music, which allows me to create today's music. So when you get stuck in a certain part or a certain time frame or genre of music, but time doesn't wait, time keeps going. So it's like some producers are prideful and they don't want to do that. I have a producer and he was like, yo, what if we, what if we don't listen to any of this stuff? Well, that's fine. You don't have to listen to the, today's music, but do you want to produce music today? It's like you kind of have to do it. You can either do it for work or you have to do it because you want to do it. It's kind of like we go to work, there's a lot of stuff we don't want to do. But we get paid to do it. That is our job. We have to do it. It's like you go to some jobs and your job might be a banker. You might be you know, checking people's accounts, but the job may require you to clean windows from time to time. Or it may require you to pick up trash from time to time. That is in your job description. So as a successful producer today, your goal might be I want to produce for J. Cole or Jay-Z. But your job may require you to produce for little Uzi Vert. And you have to be open to doing that. You just have to. Because that little Uzi Vert opportunity may be your ticket to produce for J. Cole. Right. Who would have ever thought my first placement would have been a Burger King commercial? When I was producing music, I wanted to produce music for Wu-Tang. I wanted to produce music for Slum Village. That's what I was aiming for. Every time I sat in front of my drum machine, I was pumping out J. Dilla tracks. That's yeah, it. Yeah. When my phone rang, it was supposed to be from Stone's Throw. Or it was supposed to be from someone in that world. Mm -hmm. It wasn't supposed to be from Burger King. But when Burger King calls you, they're offering you a job, an opportunity, and money. Yeah. And you're, you're obligated to stay on top of your craft. Exactly. You're, you, you just have to. You, have to. you can't say that you want to be a producer today. And I understand that this is a job. Exactly. And you have to be willing to do what your job requires you to do. Now, if you tell yourself, I'm going to do this job, but I'm not going to clean windows and I'm not going to pick up trash, where you're not going to be the best candidate for that job, and they're probably going to get someone else that would do those things the same way a producer would. So it's like the key to being successful in today's industry is removing your personal feelings and your emotions or having your personal feelings and emotions in line with what's current and relevant today. Mm -hmm. It's all about being smart, man.